everyone. This week, our focus is going to be on planting seeds and gardening. Um, have you ever planted a garden? Have you ever planted anything before? It's kind of fun. You get to see something start out really, really little, and then you get to see it grow and change and grow and change and get bigger and bigger and bigger. And um, if it's a vegetable, you get to eat it when it's fully growing, or if it's a flower, you get to enjoy it that way too. So the first book that I have today is called Planting Seeds. And this book is by Katherine Clave. Spring is here. The cold winter weather ends. It's time to plant seeds. Look at them, they're planting seeds in a big field. From seed to plant. Seeds need rain and sun. Spring storms water the seeds. We have to have rain for those seeds. Seeds crack open. The roots push down. That's kind of a cool picture. It shows what the inside of a seed looks like. So it starts out like this. Starts to get a little bit bigger. Maybe they're different ones. Pretty cool. Seeds push up from the soil. They are called shoots. So that's what you first start to see when the seeds start to grow. Green leaves grow, small buds form, then the flowers bloom. Who plants seeds? A farmer plants seeds. Corn grows tall in fields. Planted corn. A gardener plants seeds. She grows food in her backyard. So she doesn't need a tractor to plant, right? Because she doesn't have that big of a field. She uses her hands, puts the seeds in the ground. Miss Rosa's class plants seeds. They grow grass. Oh, that's fun. We normally do that when we're in school, but since we're not in school right now, maybe you have to do it at your house. You can get some grass seed and some dirt and grow it. Lewis and his dad plant seeds. They grow flowers. What seeds will you plant? Do you have any at your house that you could plant? Or maybe at a grandma's house or grandpa or a friend's house? Very cool. All right, the next book is one of my favorite books. It's called The Carrot Seed, and it's by Ruth Cross. A little boy planted a carrot seed. You see him planting his little seed? His mother said, I'm afraid it won't come up. Aww. His father said, I'm afraid it won't come up. And his big brother said, it won't come up. Every day the little boy pulled the weeds around the seed and sprinkled the ground with water. He's taking good care of it. But nothing came up. And nothing came up. Everyone kept saying, it won't come up. But he still pulled up the weeds around it every day and sprinkled the ground with water. And then one day, a carrot came up. <laughs> Look at that big carrot. Now carrots grow with the tops, like leaves up on top, and the orange part that we eat goes under the ground. And just as a little boy had known it would. Look at that big carrot that he got. That's silly, huh? 